Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to export users from a particular group into an Excel file. This is a common enough problem for IT administrators because you might have somebody ask you uh, for a list of who's in a particular group. And if you just go in and you're just trying to be lazy about it and you take a look at the list, you can see eh, they don't all fit on one screen. So, well, you can take screenshots and clutch them together, but it's kind of not very professional. Now, it would be great if you could just right click on uh, any particular group and select export list. Uh, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. If you try to right click on a group, even under all tasks, there's nothing there. Even if you go into advanced options, there's still nothing there. So when you go back, there's still no way to export this directly out of the GUI. So how do you do it? Well, it's not very hard. Bring up a PowerShell, run it as an administrator, which I simply do by right clicking and selecting Windows PowerShell Admin. You can bring it up the other way or any other way you'd like for that matter. And the command is as follows. It's a simple get 80 group. And I just tab complete through this. There we go. Get member identity. I just type in the first little bit, and press tab. And then which group? Well, I want to get the group called VPN users. Now, if I press tab here, nothing happens because it's in quotes and it's a variable. So it won't work. You have to type the whole thing in. So let's just do that and press enter and it will work, but it's kind of ugly, so not a good solution. So let's uh, write the command again. Uh, you probably know you can just press the up arrow on your keyboard to have it bring up the command again, um, but you could just type it from scratch. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to then use a pipe. Pipe is the uh, shift and the slash key above the enter key on your keyboard if you're not familiar with uh, pipes. And what we want to do is uh, select the columns. So we type in select. I'm just going to press tab there to complete that. And which columns? So I see there's a column here called name. And there's a column here called Sam account name. And there's also the distinguished name. The rest of this I really don't care about. So let's say I just care about the Sam account name and the name. I don't care about the others. Let's just use those. So I can type in name, comma, Sam count name. It's not case sensitive. Now, boom, there it goes. That's kind of nice, right? It exported it. Well, it put it into a, uh, a something on the screen and I, I could just copy paste this right into something else and then manipulate it. But let's say I had a really large list and that's a pain to do. How do I actually get this into a file that I can work with in Excel? Well, again, there's just a little bit more to the command. So press the up arrow and another pipe and we want to export dash C, and I'm just going to press tab complete on that. Oh, so many C's. There we go. CSV and C colon backslash hemp slash VPN users dot CSV. Okay. Now I don't think this temp folder exists. Let's take a quick look and see if it does. It does not. Let's see if it creates it. Nope. Doesn't work because that folder has to exist. Here we go. Let's just run the command again. Bingo. And in here is a CSV file, which I can open up with Notepad. And there it is, comma separated value. Now I can take this file and I can put it into something I have access to right now. Yes, that was my demo station. And now I can double click on that file. It'll open with Excel because I have Excel on this computer and I can do some quick formatting so I can get rid of that garbage at the top. Insert, insert, insert. And I can say, and I also want this to be sorted because I don't like the way it is now. So I will format as a table. My table has headers. There it is, and now I can sort A to Z. Isn't that nice? And I can change that to name, Sam name. And now I can present that to my client and it's going to look pretty professional. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps with the Google algorithms. Uh, also, uh, subscribe's always appreciated. And if you have any questions, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.